Hey guys, Lost Wolf here, and welcome to my playthrough of Star Wars Uprising. Uh, the raid is a long name, so give me a minute. It's called the Remote Mining Platform, EG-107 Raid on Bespin. So welcome to a new raid, guys. This is the first mission of the newly raid that I will be showing you guys. But first, before that, I'm going to show you all the uh, different possible rewards type. Even though this game is going to shut down uh, pretty soon in November, at the time of this recording on September 25th, I still want to show you guys all the raid missions and stuff before the game shuts down, so that's my goal right now. Alright, so let's start with the normal difficulty. Uh, you need a minimum rating of 6,000 PR. The requirements, I don't know, is normal raid passes, which you can get from doing the first mission used to access normal raid missions. And here are the possible rewards. You'll be getting like Elemental Bounty Hunter Jacket, uh, 5 stars out of 7, or 4 stars out of 6, and all well as well as all these other uh, materials and crystals and stuff. And yeah. And uh, the next up, we'll have the Heroic difficulty, which you need a minimum rating of 13,500 PR. Uh, if you do the first mission, you'll get Heroic Raid Passes and they carry over from one week or one raid to the other and here are the possible rewards so say if I do the heroic missions I'll have a chance to get the Ranker Slayer Legs Fragments and when I obtain like enough fragments I can craft the actual armor and I'll be able to get the Defiant Smuggler Chest Fragment as well and there's other things like Defiant Smuggler Legs Fragments the Defiant Smuggler Headgear Fragments which are 6 stars out of 8 and Defiant Smuggler Back Fragment yeah, so you get fragments with those kind of armor if you uh, do this one, but it's a bit more difficult than the normal raid difficulty. And moving on to the epic raid difficulty, you need a minimum of 18,500 PR, and requirements are using these epic raid passes. And they're really hard to do because you need a really high PR gear in order to do them, which I do not have, that's why I'm doing everything on normal difficulty. And let's go check out the possible reward missions, you'll be getting uh, Rebel Pilot Leg Fragments. And you'll be getting a Terra Kasai Novice Chest Fragment as well, which is pretty cool. I think this is like the equivalent to a Jedi training armor-ish. Probably. The Terra Kasai Novice Mass Fragment. Uh, Terra Kasai Novice Back Fragment. I think that's what it is. It's my guess. I'm not sure what these are. I could probably Google it and find out, but eh. Terrace Cassie Novus Leg Frag. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is like a Jedi robe of some sort, which will look pretty cool, but I'm sad that we'll never get to it. Alright, so that's it for the possible reward missions on each of these. Let's move on to the normal raid difficulty map. Alright, as you can see from this map, we're starting from the top right, and we're gonna make ourselves go down. So uh, let's get right to it. Normal is ah, I wish the platform had a shorter name for the raid mission. Because it's gonna be a difficult to like read a lot. Come on, who the hell names their mission or their whole raid remote mining platform? EG-1087. Alright, time to find that node because it's pitch black for me. Alright. So the first mission is called Landing Platform. It's on Bespin. Uh this is a side mission, I suppose. Level 80, you have to be level 80 to attempt this mission. Mission description reads, One of the remote mining platforms that collects and transport Tybana gas to Cloud City has gone offline. Security footage taken before the feed went dead shows a small group of hijackers breaking into the platform. It's unclear what their original goals were, but Dave definitely managed to screw up the platform's controls. Readings indicate its power plant is slowly going critical. Losing that platform would put a big dent in the uprising Tabana gas supplies. Make sure that doesn't happen. Oh no. Alright, so the ward level for this is legendary, and that's the only uh, tier, tier level they have. And for beating this mission, you get 20 normal raid passes, which is required to do the other nodes, so make sure you do this every day. It's available once every 24 hours, if Star Wars Uprising's still up. And here are the possible reward missions. You need a minimum 6,000 PR to do this mission, and elemental protection is disruption. High energy sources of damage such as iron ba ba blast, iron blast, or electricity. And I have 26,470 PR. My success chance is good. And here are my gears, and here are my abilities. And without further ado, let's get started.
All right, back on Bespin. I haven't been here in a while. Ooh, looks like I used that uh, Bespin vehicle. I forgot what it's called. <laughs> uh, some Star Wars fan I am. A bunch of thugs. Looks like it's a bunch of robots that are attacking me unless the hijackers call these robots to attack me. Which they are going to deeply regret messing with a lightsaber-wielding bounty hunter. No price is too much on their heads. Alright, let's go clear this up. So I'm assuming they're trying to put a big dent in the Tibana supply gas. Oh my god, there's, there's Jordica as well. But look, luckily this is the first mission, so it's pretty relatively easy for me. I'm gonna run over here a little bit. There you go. Come after me. There's another one over there as well. Alright, it's so going over here, so hopefully... There you go, perfect. So the, probably the price for the Tibana supplies will skyrocket and they'll be able to take advantage of that selling us expensive gas station, expensive gas. But uh, you know, as the good guys, we gotta put a stop to their evil plans. So let's do it. I'm gonna take you guys out. So I've been playing the Star Wars Battlefront lately and it's pretty fun because there was a new expansion where you can like play the Death Star or participate in a Death Star battle, which is pretty cool. It's cool flying around a Death Star and be like, yeah, I'm gonna stop the rebels from throwing up the Death Star. Oh, that's about it. That's pretty short. I told you they wouldn't take long to oblib obliterate. Whew. All right, let's see what we get. Probably usually the same reward as always. 54, 46 credits, that's how much I got. Got a bunch of uh, material, dash bar. And this is what I want, 20 normal raid passes. All right. All right, so that's it for that little mission. I hope you guys enjoyed my tour of that first mission and we're just getting started, so look forward to the rest of the raid, alright guys? If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Other than that, I just want to say thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys on the next epic Lost Wolf production. I'm Lost Wolf, and I'm signing off.